Mace, the new hero teaser just dropped a couple of minutes ago, and it's insane. I couldn't believe what I saw. There's a lot of lore connected to this trailer, followed up by some interesting aspects of the character itself, aka the hero has been revealed to a certain degree. Yes, you know today's video is going to be quite juicy, mates. Welcome, mates, on Bloodthirsty Lord by You Can Call Me Lordy, and today we are back on Paragon once again. There should be more gameplay in the background of Morrigesh, and you'll be able to see me go ham in that gameplay. Very fun to watch, but obviously that is not the main focus of today. It's the topics that we discussed at the very start of this video, being the new hero, the teaser, and pretty much all the information, lore, and theories that we've gained from this bit of information. And if you mates haven't noticed yet, I'm very excited to main a new hero, especially in the support role, because I don't play too many support heroes and I don't really like the ones we have now they're kind of boring in my eyes but with this new hero I feel like I will be able to make it guaranteed and that's just because of the new mechanics on the character folder by the data mine information that we talked about all the leaked information that we talked about with the new hero phase being this character that is showcased within this hero teaser but mates before we get into this video make sure you smash that button like button let's try to get 200 likes on this video so without further ado Let's get straight into this. A couple of minutes ago on the official Paragon Twitter page, they did tweet out the new hero teaser, followed up by the caption of Sluggo, her closest companion, will always have her back. Hashtag every three weeks. And we know this is connected to the new hero because of the actual tag of the video being new hero teaser, followed up by the hashtag itself every three weeks. So that's connected to it. And Sluggo being that interesting aspect that I'm going to talk about very soon. She has her closest companion, will always have her back. Okay, Sluggo is pretty much her backpack. The backpack was showcased in the first teaser image, but not many people understood it because in the first teaser image, hopefully it's on screen now. Some of the other mates had some interesting ideas when it came to this component of the image. We don't talk about things like that on this channel, obviously, mates, because, you know, family-friendly Lordy is here. That's how it works. <laughs> they showcased the top part of Sligo or her backpack. So that was pretty cool. And now we know what that actually is and how it works. Pretty much being her closest companion. And that's why she's wearing it on her back. As she enters the world of Agora, I expect this backpack or Sligo to be changed depending on the skin variation or the skins that you have with this character once it's released and when most likely with the high T skin Sluggo is gonna look bloody insane that could be one component and also it reminds me of another partnership within this actual universe Gadget and Rose Rose being the robotic arm that Gadget has and Gadget pretty much showcasing her companionship between the arm and herself that's the same idea they're doing with this character here with her backpack and the character itself so most likely this Sluggo character has been with her for a long time and she's been pretty much on the exact same adventures as the character or pretty much share the adventures with her but the most important part is we'll always have her back the backpack sluggo might have its own animations and abilities for the character once she activates her ability maybe sluggo does something as well on her back and releases the ability to affect the enemy hero for example she does have a blind mechanic that's pretty much been confirmed and maybe sluggo releases that blind effect towards those enemies and that's how it works and then while she's doing something else at the same time that'd be pretty cool we haven't even spoken about the hero teaser itself let's talk about that i'm going to play one clip right now And you witnessed the clip just then. It looks pretty cool. Hopefully it's looping as we're talking about it. And the idea is that you see the new hero pretty much for the first two seconds around that. And she's pretty much just looking down towards Quang and Latambalika. Then it zooms onto Quang. And there is a reason why they did this. There's a lot of information in the game at this current moment with Shinbi and Quang. And one of the most important aspects out of that lore information from those two characters is there is a second sister. And that second sister has not been named yet. And I'm guessing that second sister is FaZe, and that second sister was presented in the new hero teaser that you just witnessed. Yes, that is pretty cool. A Shinbi sister's Quang sister, that is her. To furthermore, pretty much complete the idea, that music within the track sounds like Shinbi's, but like a punk version of it. I don't, if I can say that, that's what it sounds like to me. Because usually they don't play beats like that within trailers, so I'm guessing that it's going to be Shinbi's sister and Quang's sister, and that's pretty sick. Now we've got like a trio lore connection just going on there. It's pretty insane, followed by all these other heroes connecting to them in some type of way. And you can see the expansion of the lore behind Paragon as it gets bigger and bigger with every hero release and every new component to the game. It's insane. Another aspect that we've been talking about quite a bit, especially connected to the hero phase, the one that was presented in that teaser trailer, is the idea of her having a teleport ability being her global ultimate or ultimate that's able to move people to a certain location. And this clip just enhances that idea by a crapload. 
Yes, we're trying to be family friendly, you know, mates, but my god, I think we know what's going on there. The intriguing part is the position. You can see the character, the new hero, being pr pretty much placed on a higher elevation, and then you can see Quang just ulti, and it's not even close to the turn bug, it's pretty far away. But the idea is, the second mechanic on this hero, the new mechanic that will be coming to the game, is that she'll be able to teleport her friendly teammates into a certain location to apply the character's damage. Quang will ulti, and Quang has like a wind-up ability for his ultimate. It takes a little bit of time before he's able to dose the damage, the burst damage that he does have with his ultimate, because he has to wind it up. At the same time, as he's winding up, she's going to reposition him with the teleport towards the enemy team, and then it will take the damage without knowing where Quang came from or pretty much did his ulti from. That is really good. It's going to make so many fights, so many interesting team fights, and it's going to lead to crazy outcomes and results. I think this combo is going to be insane. Quang, followed up by that character at the same time, is insane burst. But there's so many other combos you can do with it as well. Pretty much, if you've ever played the game League of Legends, there's a hero that got reworked maybe a year ago, and his name is Ryze. His ultimate was a reposition teleport as a team. So pretty much, he's able to activate it. There's a wind-up. Also have teammates in that range or position that he's activating the wind-up on his ultimate, and they can wind up their own ultimates or just stand in there, and they'll be able to pretty much teleport to the next location that, that the new hero or that character, Ryze, has chosen once he's activated the ability. And this can lead to very interesting teammates fights the exact same thing will happen within paragon with this new hero the new support hero and it's gonna be really intriguing to see what plays and outcomes and out plays you can do with this because the potential right now is through the roof and i can't wait to see how long it takes to use that ability followed by the durations and effects of each ability because that's really important when you're playing support hero low cooldown effectiveness being high will be very useful to the team and towards your own playstyle when playing within the support role. Well, let's get back to the hero itself. The hero is revealed slightly within this trailer or the teaser trailer, and it looks pretty cool. You can see this black outfit followed by this pink and black color scheme. That's the idea they're going for with the outfit. The pink color has been utilized within her hair, her actual companion sluggo, and also on her waist, you can see a heart. And the only character that has hearts that we've seen before is Shinbi. And that's pretty much confirming the idea or theory that this hero is the sister of Quang and Shinbi. Just by having that little thing right next to her waist. Also going back to that pull mechanic or the teleporting mechanic or the reposition mechanic within the character's kit. I feel like there'll be like a arrow towards what direction you want to place the ability in order to pull the person from one location to another. I don't know if it's going to be a team ultimate which gives you the properties of bringing your whole team through that teleport in order to do some amazing team fight or just one selected player. But I'm guessing it's going to use arrow keys to pull them to a certain direction as you choose where you want. But I can't wait to see what the case is with this hero with that second new mechanic on the character. Also, it was brought to my attention on yesterday's video and the image that was teased off yesterday about the new hero. So one of you guys had a theory based on it and that was that the new hero was a part of the Medicity Shockwave team which is mentioned within Hawitz's little bits or little tidbits or background information. So that was pretty cool to see something like that happening. Maybe it's a possibility, I'm not too sure. But maybe with the earphones and the way the character had it, could make sense that she's part of the Shockwave team, but we don't have any confirmed information about that, but that theory is pretty darn awesome. Mates, if we do gain any more information about this new hero, and pretty much more content and news about Paragon in general, expect it here first. We're going to try to gain everything as quick as possible, break it down as quick as possible, and give as much information that is needed in order to build up your knowledge before this new hero and the new content is dropped within Paragon, because knowledge is key to success, especially when playing within a MOBA experience. All the knowledge builds up in in order to make interesting plays that has a slim chance of a mistake occurring or no mistakes occurring at all and also you being able to punish the team whenever they do a mistake that's what knowledge helps with but mates as always i want to know your thoughts on this video what do you think about the new hero teaser do you like it do you hate it in general what do you think about the hero because in my eyes i feel like the hero is going to be really interesting and has a lot of connections in lore between queen and shibli obviously and all these other heroes here and there it's really cool, and I can't wait to see how the gameplay feels when we're playing as his support hero, because we haven't had a support hero in ages. Even though people are getting triggered because it's a female hero, a support hero is something new that we haven't seen in a long time. And I can't wait to get my hands on that and enjoy it, and pretty much get more interested in playing within the support role, because many people are not interested in playing that role. That's just like a number one thing, because everyone wants to play heroes that do damage. That's how it usually is. Even though some of them can't play those type of heroes to its full potential, it happens. Hopefully with this new support hero, people will end up playing it and giving it a chance and maybe 
just maybe they might like the support role because I feel like I'm going to enjoy playing support with this hero. But those are my thoughts and my opinions. I want to know your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. So make sure you did enjoy this video, show us why smash that button like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. Make sure you see more Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news on my channel. All you have to do is share with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that's all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. I'll be back very soon. Hey, that's boys. You guys ain't seen nothing yet. We have all the siblings in game, or coming to the game very soon. Bring the mother and the father as well. Why not bring Granny Grux as well, mates? We want to see that too. That'd be pretty sick. Just one big family, mates. <laughs>